Hello, everybody. Hello. My name is Paul. Welcome, one and all. So, last time we entered show business, we became a dancer, and we're making 500 bucks a night. But, of course, us being the swinger that we are, we can't settle down with any kind of regular job, even though it doesn't really seem like a regular job at all. But we're going to keep my, uh, my new flamboyant costume on, because I kind of like it better than his leisure suit. I mean, look at it. It's glorious. What if I can even fit this thing under the trees? All right. Well, anyway, so what we have to do now is <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Uh, go ahead and get his divorce finalized. I think now we can actually finally at last do that because I needed the money, which I think I have, right? $500 bills. Yes. To pay for my divorce proceedings. All right. Let's go talk to Paul Reiser and get this started. Can I fit this to the door? There we go. Just barely. Roger, I'd like to get this divorce business all straightened out. When can I meet with Miss Cheatham again? Well, you've already had your one and only free introductory consultation, Mr. Laffer. Susie will be happy to meet with you again, but to complete your legal arrangements, you must pay me your $500 fee. Well, all right, well, sounds easy. I have exactly $500 and no cents. Here's the $500 Miss Cheatham requested. May I please meet with her to finalize my divorce now? Yeah. Why, certainly, Miss Cheetah will be happy to talk to you. Hey, I'm talking to you. Get back here. Oh, by the way, nice outfit. Hee <laughs> hee. That's right. You wouldn't mention it until now. Hello, I am back, Miss Cheatham's, and I'd like my divorce papers. Susie's eyes widen as she spies your new outfit. Oh, Larry, I had no idea you enjoyed cross-dressing, too. What does she mean, too? Nothing turns me on like wearing men's underwear. Why? Men's underwear are the most uncomfortable. If you're talking about tiny whiteies anyway, are the most uncomfortable, godforsaken vice grips that anyone would want to wear on their thighs. That's awful. But hey, she's a masochist. You are stunned, dazed. You had no idea. You head for the sofa. Yes, yes. D do sit down, Mr. Laffer. Make yourself comfortable, Larry. You wouldn't mind if I called you Larry, would you? No, Larry is fine, I suppose. Allow me to assure our confidentiality, Larry. I hate for anyone to violate the privacy of my attorney-client relationships. Hmm, would you mind if I slip out of this hat? Feel free to slip out of whatever you wish. Mm, you carefully remove the gigantic feathered hat from your head and place it at your feet. You may have come here expecting a divorce, but it looks like you're going to get more than just legalese. Oh, and now it's time for me to get comfortable, too. Oh, my. So a wife beater is men's undergarments? How do you like women in men's undergarments? It looks completely natural. Actually, I think I'd love you in mine. Oh, come on. Don't subscribe to the binary, Larry. Enough of this legalistic foreplay, Larry. What do you say we spend the rest of the afternoon going through your briefs? <laughs> Ouch. Whee! Oh no, really? I guess this happens enough that she has to have this phone installed for when she's having her count sessions. Hey, Larry! Su hey, Susie! What's that? Uh, no, excuse me for just a, a moment, please. I seem to have a telephone call. May I put you on hold? Uh, now, uh, where were we? Uh, you think to yourself, I've had lawyers do this to me before, but this is the first time. Uh, uh Susie! Oh, no. I'm supposed to have Roger hold my calls. I mean, I guess someone got to hold something around here. Look at that antenna on that phone. This is so 1989. Ah, uh, now, dear, where were we? Oh, no. I better write myself a note before that conversation slips my mind. I guess nice something started slipping around here. There we go. There we go. All right, there. All done. Oh, God, this takes you right out of the mood, doesn't it? Oh, not again. I'm just so busy. Uh, now, dear, where were we? Uh, you've had just about all this you can take. Oh, uh, Susie, come on. Separation of... Oh, focus. Focus. Oh, wait. I better fax Roger a memo about that last conversation. Yeah. Woo. Nice shot. You've done this before, haven't you? This sofa is huge, by the way. I mean, if we're like six feet long, this couch has to be like a good 10, 12 feet long. Uh, Susie. Susie. Mission report December 16th, 1991. If you're this busy, why don't I come back later? And you do mean that figuratively. 
Susie covers the phone with her hand and whispers to you, oh, okay, good, uh, good idea. Just call me anytime. And as soon as I prepare your divorce papers, you may pick them up from Roger, my secretary. We must get together again soon. From what I've seen of you, I'd love to try to squeeze you into my agenda. Oh, wiggling your way out of her grasp, you grab and... Your tall feathered hat from the floor and slip out the office door. The problem is Susie's docket is just too full. Congratulations, Larry. You've just experienced the agony of clientus interruptus. Well, at least I get to keep my cool hat. All right, does that mean my divorce is finalized? Now may I make it my divorce papers? Jeez, Larry, give me a little time. They'll be ready as soon as I can prepare them. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave and come right back and I assume they're done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Here they are. <laughs> All right, let's see. Divorce decree free at last. Oh, well, look at this. Somehow Susie Cheatham's Fat City membership card got mixed up with these papers. What a sleuth you are. Awesome. So now I have a membership to the gym. This was what kind of makes this game a little bit more... I don't want to say linear because it's very... Well, it's, it's actually kind of chaotic the way you move around. But... Like, everything you do sort of opens up the avenue of the next thing it wants you to do. Which is fine. A little bit of direction is nice. Especially in this game where I can be wandering around for like an hour trying to figure out what the hell the game wants me to do. Alright, we got our, our um, explosive change, so we're all ready to go. And speaking of changing, I think it's time we say goodbye to this suit because it's outlived its usefulness. Now, I think that was the only thing that we actually needed it for was to get her on my side. I'm not even sure if there's... Can I fit this door with this thing on? Yes, there we go. Uh, I'm not sure if there's actually a way to get the divorce without wearing this. Like, if you change... I don't know. I never really tried it before. I always like to wear this costume for as long as possible. Maybe we'll try that for, like, the last little bonus video or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, well, enough of that. Let's put this suit on my fat body. That feels like home. There we go. Free and easy, just as God intended. All right, so we have our divorce papers signed. We have the land. Well, actually, no, we don't have the land. We gave it to Sherry, which is kind of nice of us, even though we did it just for the sole reason of uh, getting laid. Speaking of laid, I wonder what I'm going to do with that lay that I have now. Anyway, so now off to Fat City. Mm, so now they have a membership card. There's three doors I can take. What's this door? Tanning booth. Mm, I've already got a tan. I think I'm good. What's this one? Aerobic studio. Sounds like fun. Beautiful. You insert Susie's key card into the slot. The door opens automatically. Well, I think I froze the game. Nope, we're fine. Oh, let's slow that down so it doesn't look as scary. This woman just looks so frightening to me. Something about her just, like, scares me. And maybe I'm just intimidated because she's, like, way stronger than I'll ever be. But the way she moves is so uncanny valley. The way her head bobs back and forth. A tall, statuesque blonde is working out on stage surrounded by video equipment. Hi, beautiful. My name is Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. Hope I'm not interrupting your show. Nice to meet you, Larry Laffer. You're the looks of that stomach. You've come to the right place. Oh, hi there. Um, you dye your hair, don't you? Hello, beautiful. My name is Larry. Huh, Larry Laffer. My, my, your body is certainly ready for one of my workouts. Are you trying to say I'm a little, uh, chubsters? Let's see. Ask about workout. That it worked before with the land. Let's see if this works. Nope. Well, I guess I'll just talk to her as usual. Can I work out with you, Bambi? Nope, she doesn't like that one. Well, did, uh, maybe after I finish this aerobics video project, Larry. Huh, ask about video. How's your video doing? Urgh, she frowns. Not well. With so many workout tapes in today's marketplace, I'm having trouble coming up with that certain little something that will make mine different, establish my competitive edge. Well, bye. We'll talk a little bit later uh, there, Sherry. No, Taunt. What's her name? I forgot already. Oh. Uh, leave. Can't wait to see you work out again, Bambi. Hey. Come back when you feel helpful, Larry. All right. Well, more power to you. We'll come back to this after I put you in fast motion because it's funny. Go for it. Do the leg kicks. It makes me laugh. No wonder this video is not selling. This is all you're doing. Boring. Boo. <laughs> Now I'm a crab. 
<laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, what's in here? This, I think, takes me to the gym proper. There we go. Oh my. Which one of these lockers is mine? You are in the Fat City Spa locker room on the far wall are two doorways. There's another door that leads to the lobby. Identical lockers are everywhere. Which one should you use? Well, I think if I look at my card... Uh... No. Oh, what is it? Where does it say? Which one's my locker? Uh... Ah, here we go. It's on the back. There we go. Susie wrote her locker number plus some words on the back of her spa key card. Closer examination reveals the words to be Witch Doctor Appearance Center. Island office and voodoo supply in Piggy's coffee shop. Now, what could that mean? Oh, copy protection. Got it. Let me get my handy dandy little notebook out here. We'll jot this down. Now, what could that mean? What could Su Why would Susie scribble the names of non-today businesses on the back of her spa membership key card? And the number 69 was up there too. So that must be our locker number. And this will be the, uh, what was it? The combination. So let me find a pen here. We'll do this. And then, of course, I realize I'm sitting at a computer which has word processing software. All right, so the Witch Doctor ad is on page 17. Island Office and Voodoo Supply. There it is. That's on page 13. So 17, 13. There it is. It's on 18. Okay, so let's see if my hunch is correct. Now we got to find locker 69. Oh, let's see. Look locker number 84. 877. Oh, wait. I look at the locker number. It's, it's completely random. Oh, these jerks. Then again, it might not be. There must be a way to identify these lockers. I think I remember it being over here somewhere. I don't understand why it's being so hesitant to tell me where I am. The locker nearest you might be 246. Let me get it, might not. Oh, ha, ha. Good luck, jackass. This is so unfair. How do I, how do I know? Uh. Oh, God. All right. It was, it was right next to me the whole time. I was kind of right. That's just jerkish. See, look, locker number. Oh, it does tell you. There's Loxy69 over there. Okay, good. It's not being as jerky as I thought, but still. No, it's jerky. All right, open locker. There's a photo of a scantily clad Tom Selleck. Ew. Some spray deodorant and a set of women's sweats. All right, well, let's get dressed for the occasion and get ourselves a free workout. Beautiful. Gosh, don't you look sweet in a pair of newly larger women's sweats? Uh, let's see. Use deodorant. There we go. Okay. Now I'm undressed. You remove everything you're wearing and toss it in your locker. Congratulations. You're quickly turning this family-oriented entertainment software into an X-rated game. Next thing you know, you'll probably be enjoying walking around like this. Then where will we be? Uh... Oh, that, there it is. There it is. There's Larry's little Larry. Let's look at that. Look at that flat little square butt. All right, so let's get the spray. I think we have to spray ourselves. Not sure if anything bad happens, but pst. There we go. Spray some deodorant. I get points for that, so I guess that's good. All right, now the most important part is to close the locker. And then lock locker. Okay, because if you don't do that, you come back and everything you own has been stolen and it's game flipping over. All right, uh, which one's the gym and which one's the, the shower? I think this one. There we go. All right, welcome to Grindtastic Central where we have to work out, but we just, we have to work out like for literally forever. All right, well, no time like the present. Here's the grindtastic part. So now we got to get ourselves a really bitchin' body. Because now we got ourselves a good tan. But now we have to get ourselves ripped. Because ripped. All right, so here we go. Two, three, four. And you just do this. So what I do is I just turn up the speed all the way. And just bop, 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 bop. But you can't just go like this. Can you... It says I perped 12,000 pounds. Is that, is that all I have to do? I'll just do 30 of everything. All right, stop. There we go. This is the longest one because it has the longest animation cycle. Up, down, up, down. 
Oh boy, imagine doing this in like regular motion. 12 pull-ups. That's all I have to do? Uh, let's see, there's one other thing I can work out around here. What is it? Oh, let's see, a leg curl bench. Oh, okay, okay. There we go, 12 leg curls. I thought I had to do more than that. Am I done? Wow. Yeah, boy oh boy, this exercise stuff really works. Wait, you look and feel like a new man. Whoa, hey, what's happening? Whoop, yeah. Boom, one day at the gym and holla. I am the mountain. Well, look at this, it's the incredible dork. Yeah. Oh, there they are. There's the pulsating pectorals we wanted. You can learn to like this. Um, I don't think doing, enter one of those con- I don't, mm, alright, well, Larry, you, you, whatever makes you happy, man, I think you're just fantasizing. Oops, this new body has sprung a leak. Oh, down it goes. Psst. Well, well, you would want to be that pumped up anyway. At least you're no longer overweight. Why, just take a look at yourself. That gut of yours is gone. You just look at that muscle. What a hunk. I really remember... Maybe they changed it for some kind of subsequent release, but you had to do like 50 of everything or something ridiculous like that. But maybe I'm remembering wrong. 12, 12 it is. That's fine. It's nowhere near as bad as I thought it was. All right. Well, now let's go wash the stink off and then we're ready to go out and hit the town with my new bod. Close locker. Naked it is. Mm, wow. Okay. Yeah. So working out for about six minutes has uh, really had a strong effect. And look at that square butt, so much smaller. All right, this is very unpleasant. There we go. We'll just uh, we'll just park him right there, uh, shall we? Okay, so let's take a shower. So take shower uh, near the top of the screen. There we go. Oh, I like I really like the little footprint details. You walk around and like smooshes up against the wet glass. That's really cool. All right. Um. Oh, you soap. I was wise to bring the soap on a rope with me in the place. You can't really rub it over every part of your body. Some parts longer than others. Soon it's all gone. But I think that's all we need to do. So we took a shower. We're all rinsed off. We're soaked up. So yeah, let's turn off the shower and get out of here. All right, let's head on back here, get dressed. And then, uh, profit? Oh, I need to dry off. Oh, wait. Uh, I have a towel. That's right. I have a towel in my inventory. There we go. Prevent chafing. Can I wear the towel? To protect my modesty? You would too, but you really don't want to. Yeah, that's right. Let it fly. You return to your leisure suit once again ready to face the world of women. Hmm. It looks like my leisure suit has automatically tailored itself to my new body. How convenient. This simplifies everything. All right, so maybe now my new buff body will allow me to uh, talk to Tawny a little bit farther. You're not Tawny. Well, I count everybody in this game Tawny. Uh, Bambi. Oh, oh, God. Stop that. Stop that. That gives me nightmares. Oh. Apparently, I have B.O. Okay, so I had to use the deodorant afterwards. God, I just took a shower. Crap. Well, back we go. I wonder what happens if we just sort of walk around naked. Let's just leave without putting our clothes on. Oh, well, it appears you enjoy gallivanting around the nude here in the locker room. Fat City strictly prohibits naked people in the lobby. Well, balls. Literally. Oh, God, please stop that. Just, and I'll do anything to make you stop doing what you're doing right now. All right, let's see if she says anything new to us now. Why all the elaborate video equipment for a simple aerobics class? Oh, that's not for my classes. I'm working on a new videotape for worldwide distribution. So how's it going? Uh, not well. Okay, blah, blah, blah. We already talked about that. Say, so, yeah, I used to be in marketing. Uh, perhaps I could help you. Gosh, Larry, that would be wonderful. If you could, I would be eternally grateful. How? What's that competitive edge? Well, we looked in the manual and said she, she was like going to teach some sort of like exotic sexual kind of workout kind of thing. So let's just tell her, you know, sex sells. I think it's just as easy as just saying help video or just help. And it's kind of disappointing because you don't even have to give her a specific idea or like give her the idea, think about what it should help. But the game just kind of just like, oh, okay, you decide to help and this is your idea. Bambi, I got it. I know just the angle that will sell that video of yours. <gasps> Sex. 
Of course, why didn't I think of that? Sex sells toothpaste, and surely it's his sale aerobics. We'll be the first aerobics video that to use sexual positions for our exercises. Can you do it, Bambi? Can you make it interesting? Interesting, I should say. Watch this. Tell me what you think of these moves, Larry. They look like exactly the same moves you were doing before, and I hate it. It's, it's not, it's just the head bobbing that really, uh, oh, okay. But the head bobbing is just so weird, I can't handle it. She even does it when she's doing her squats. Come on, you just be a little hotter, Bambi. Come on, honey, really turn me on. How about this? That's not really an exercise, is twerking. Okay, well, you're getting there. Oh, well, the microphone's getting turned on. There, okay, well that's, that's something. Go Bambi, go! That's, okay, well you just broke the camera, well done. I guess this is sexy to someone. I can't stand this any longer. All these movements have me turned on. Come on Larry, let enough this rehearsal. It's showtime. Oh Larry, I'm so excited about this. This new video idea of yours. Hey, your hair's different, now it's a ponytail. Wasn't that really weird sort of tri-bob thing? I like this way better. Come on Larry, let's do a little blocking. I don't like where this is going, but at least it's private. Here's a nice spot where we're sure we won't be disturbed. This old tanning machine's been broken since the late 80s. Then again, wait a minute. It is the late 80s. No, it's, it's 91. No, it is the late 80s. It's 1989. So, why don't you step on over here to my casting couch and then I'll audition you for a role in my new video. Perhaps a role would be more like it. Like a hole in the hay? Bambi, I may not be able to keep up with you aerobically, but remember, practice makes perfect. <laughs> well, are you just gonna dry hump her, Larry? That doesn't look very comfortable. on polyester on, on... Okay. No pain, no gain. Really uncomfortable. Okay, lid coming down in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... There it goes. <sighs> Knew it. Wow, Larry, you're the first man who's ever made me see lights. We're gonna, we're gonna die in here. The brilliant glow of 1500 watts of ultraviolet B heats your back as quickly as it cramps your style. Hey Bambi, how'd you get this thing up? That's your problem, Larry. I just like to raise the lid of this tanning booth. Oh god, our help, it's stuck. No, it's not. I'm just having trouble moving this lid on my back. Oh, I get it. Whoops, messed that one up. All right, oh, sexual innuendos, doopy doop. Bambi slips out of the tanning machine, out of the door, and out of your life, leaving you to ponder yet another one of life's great mysteries. Why is it so damned hard to get an even tan in a machine? Well, I guess I did that for a reason besides points. Let's see, use card. Is there anything that she left behind now that she's gone? Well, the camera fixed itself, that's nice. Look around. Now, you are in Fat City's aerobic studio, which is presently filmed with audio-video equipment. The equipment seems to have suffered some sort of meltdown. No, well, not really. Anything I can take? No, I'm looking at everything. I don't see anything that I can take. So what was the point of all that? Was that just like a little bonus or something? Well, whatever. I guess that was all there was to it. Now we're back on a mission of... Wait, well, actually, no, we're not. I don't know what I, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Well, all right, well, back in exploration mode. We'll find something to do. I know it. Something will become apparent. I kind of guess it goes against what I said before. Like, whenever you finish something, it tells you what to do next. Like, so it gives you a hint. But now I have no hint. But now I'm buff, and I'm tan, and I'm ready to roll. Uh, let's go see if the piano bar has anything new, because I know something happens there eventually. Hello, 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 hello. Hi, hi, hi. There we go. Elvis is here. Yeah, here's the one I wanted to see. Hey, Elvis. Seated before you is none other than the queen of the keyboard, the irresistible instrumentalist of the ivories, the sultress of the Steinway, the babe of the Bosendorfer, passionate Patty. We found her. But for, I'm more, I want to talk to Elvis. Elvis, hi. Why, he looks just like the king. He looks like he doesn't want to be disturbed. Well, all right. We're not here to talk to her anyway. Him. Well, look, it's that woman you've been waiting for, passionate Patty herself. She looks even better than you expected. You wonder why she selected Passionate as her stage name. The game kind of lets you know that, like, she's the one. She's the one you want. She'll only talk to you if you're buff and tan, but still wearing an awful leisure suit. I don't have a... Okay, fine. Let's see. Sit. Boom. Hi, beautiful. My name is Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. And hello to you, Larry. I'm the girl of your dreams, Passionate Patty. Hey, there's the passionate Patty that I recognize. Still looking very 80s with all the bangles and everything, but... Hey, Patty, it's good to see you at long last. 
Larry, you won't get much out of life if you don't just go for it. Um, all right, ask Patty out. Nope, I understand that. Uh, take Patty home. No reason to take it. Uh, what do you want from me, lady? Talk woman. Larry, I believe in the old saying, a good man is hard to find, but a hard man is good to find. Um, you have a problem. And how are you playing piano with your arm in the air like that? Are you playing solely with your left hand? That's very impressive. Why is your nose twitching? Are you sick? Patty, do you want a tissue? L Patty, what do you want from me? Uh, go for it. Okay, go for it. Kiss Patty? Hey, she likes that, I think. You've never experienced that until you've had me. I... Okay. What do you want me to do? Patty, give me, a help. give me some help here. All right, well, just going from memory, even though we've never talked to this woman before, she is so interested in you, just... You guys are so fated to be together that she already knows everything that you've been through and she wants to like marry you. So I guess it doesn't make, it doesn't make any sense. There must be something I'm missing. Here, just here, d take my leg cuz I know you want it. Here, Patty, take these wilted old flowers. Um no way, Larry. Although I have a soft spot in my heart for orchids, I could never accept these tired old things. Is that all you think of me? Dead flowers indeed. Uh be right back, folks. There we go. Alright, they're getting pretty droopy, so we... Patty, please accept these flowers and let's get together tonight when you get off of work. Oh, she frowned. No, Larry, not now. Although I have a soft spot in my heart for orchids, I am growing more fond of you every moment we're together. I could never date a married man. Oh, well, I can solve that. Uh... Show divorce. Patty, look! I did it! My divorce is finalized! Here, take it! Frame this thing! Mount it here on your piano! Congratulations, Larry! Did I mention earlier how much I love single men? And suddenly you become a lot more interesting to me. We should get together sometime. Uh... Alright, how about now? Get together. Patty, please! Let's try it. You and me, together, alone at last, what do you say? I'd say yes, Larry. But where I come from, a gentleman customarily gives a gift to his lady on their first date. I could never go out with a man who didn't care enough to give me presents. What? Is this real dating acumen? I, I must... Okay, fine. Uh, what else do you want? Do I have anything else that you might want? I have a lay that's wilted, but I already gave you the good one. Do you want my knife? Here, here. Have a... Give knife. It's a genuine Ginsu. Patty, look at this sharp knife. Why, Larry, how droll. Um, give... What else? I have a towel. Would you like me to rub this all over your naked body? No, Larry, but I do enjoy being rubbed. Okay, well, rub Patty. Does she like that? I can't tell. I might enjoy that later. Uh, let's see. Here, take my gym membership. Give card. Would you like to work out over at Fat City? You can take my key card. Hardly. I can get into Fat City whenever I wish. You see, I know the clerk there. Uh, okay, so Patty's been around. All right, well, I need to find something else that she'll want a little bit more. I'm leaving now, Patty. See you later, Larry. Hmm, alright, so that means our next mission is to find something that will curry Patty's favor. Patty as a character really perplexes me, but I mean, it's good that you kind of know that she's sort of your end goal and you guys can fall in love and all that kind of good stuff, but the fact that she introduces herself sort of like out of, I guess, fourth wall breaking, it's like, hey, I'm the girl that you've been looking for, I'm your canonical mate. And she's like, what are you going to do for me? Do you want to get this game moving or not? She's... Patty is literally holding the game hostage until I give her all the presents she wants. So that will be on next time. I think I know what to do. Eh, but we'll find out. We haven't had to use any expletives in a while, but remember to go down to the little doobly-doo at the bottom and fill out you know, whatever expletive you want Larry to say. I'm working my way down the list as quickly as possible. We have like a lot. I mean like over 400 
expletives to choose from. So keep them coming. They're all freaking hilarious. So until next time, as always, good night, jelly beans. Good night.